Hi, this is Spiritual Yoga. My name is Karen. Fit this into your daily routine to nourish your mind, body and spirit. Let's begin to nourish your palms to generate heat. And then place them on your eyes. Give yourself some time from this warmth above your eyes. And keep the back straight. Inhale, reach your arms overhead as far as you can get them today. Clasp your fingers together. Press your palms to the sky. Exhale, lean toward the right. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, continue with the side bending or flow. Moving down into a forward fold if you like. Inhale, rolling back up to starting position. Continue these a few more rounds at your own pace. And rotating the outer direction. Let's come to a wide stance and bring hands to hips. Let's pivot the toes to the right. Right toes are pointed out, left toes are angled in. Inhale, bring hands to Namaste and bend into your front knee. May remain here or raise the arms overhead. Exhale, sink deeper into the pose. Take the left arm behind you to meet your back thigh. While the top arm guides your torso for a little back bend. Inhale and loosen the body as you exhale. Extend the stretch with both arms. Feeling the stretch at the chest, shoulders and abdominal area. Gazing at the fingers. And release. Bring one block to the top of your mat. Both legs extended. Extend arms overhead, extending through the entire back. And as you exhale, lean toward the right, bending at the hip, or placing your top hand on your hip. And invite the other hand toward whatever is available, your thigh, your shin, block or the earth. Your hand may remain on your hip or raise it overhead, taking the stretch deeper. And gazing ahead at the earth or at the palm. Expand the chest by turning the shoulders. Bringing the chest and the thighs in alignment. Release and place two blocks in front of you and come into a wide stance. 
inhale, tall spine, shoulders back, exhale, bring the upper body forward, hinging at the hip, invite the palms to release on your thighs, shins, blocks, or the earth, exhale completely while you get acquainted with this pose, engaging in the core, melting toward the earth, gazing at the earth or tucking your head in. This pose helps stretch the lower back and glutes. Let's come to a wide stance and bring hands to hips. Let's pivot the toes to the left. Left toes are pointed out. Right toes are angled in. Inhale, bring hands to Namaste and bend into the front knee. You may remain here. We'll raise the arms overhead. Exhale, sink deeper into the pose. Gazing ahead or up at your palms. This pose is working our upper leg and thighs. Our entire abdomen and the arms. Take the right arm behind you to meet your back thigh. From the top arm guides your torso for a little back bend. Inhale and loosen the body as you expand and extend the stretch. Feeling the stretch out the chest. Shoulders and the abdominal area. Gazing ahead or at the top arm. Keep your face to the sun and you'll never see the shadows. And release. Bring one block to the top of your mat. Both legs extended. Inhale, extend arms overhead. Extending through the entire back. And as you exhale, lean toward the left, bending at the hip. Place your top hand on your hip. And invite the other hand to whatever is available. Your thigh, your shin, your block or the earth. Your hand may remain on your hip raise it overhead, taking the stretch deeper, gazing ahead, the earth or at your palm. Exhale, expand your chest by opening your top shoulder further. Sky above, earth below, peace within. Coming into a low squat. So if you have knee or hip or lower back problems, please feel free to stay high with just a gentle bend in the knee. Otherwise, drop and give me zen. Bend your knees into a low squat, separate your thighs as it's comfortable for you. You may sit on a block, sway your body weight side to side to introduce some mobility in your joints. Inhale, get tall, find balance and sing. 
hands can remain on the floor or calm to pray. Exhale. You may bring your elbows to gently right in your thighs to help you open the hips. Let the lower back release. Release any tension. Feel the stretch in the inner thighs as the back releases, gazing ahead. Bring the body in a kneeling position. Placing the hips on the heels with the knees bent. Linger here with a graceful spine and reflect on this moment in time. The pose you avoid the most is the one you usually need the most. Release and bring your body into a prone position onto our bellies. Arms extended beside you, palms turned up. Inhale, raise your torso and legs behind you and your arms. Lingering on the lower abdomen and your pelvis, expanding the body both ways. Release a little, palms on the floor. Inhale and glide from the earth into locust pose. And as you exhale, go deeper into the pose. Continue a few more rounds. This will help tone the belly, hips, glutes and arms. the palms on the earth. Let's calm the child's pose. Paradise found. Relax your forehead on the back of your hand or a block if you like. practice with one last breath together. A big collective inhale. Palms up and out to the side and exhale. Have a wonderful day. Share this video with anybody you love who needs a good workout from home. Namaste.